So in the last part of the tutorial, we um, created these lovely styles and uh, we allowed our cookie banner to essentially slide down from the top of the page. What we haven't now done is um, when we click OK Continue, use this query string to actually um, pick up the fact that the users click this in PHP, set the cookie and then never show this again or, or show it, you know, we're going to give it a period of say a year. So this is the sort of more technical now PHP side of actually, um, of actually, you know, dealing with the cookies, uh, dealing with setting this cookie. So uh, let's go ahead over to our index.php file at the very, very top, just before our doc type um, is going to be where we pick up the fact that this accept cookies uh, query string has been appended to the end of the URL. So we're going to have a little if statement in here to check that. We're also then going to have an if statement around here. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to not create this markup if the user has clicked the accept button and the cookie's been set to, to, show, to show that. So I've created opening and closing PHP tags for the if statement. I've started the if statement here. I've ended the if statement here, the block. This is the block that's run or output if this is true. Um, so let's do this part first. So I'm gonna basically say if not is set and I want to check if the cookie, and we're gonna call this cookie accept cookies, and that's it. So if this cookie is not set, show this cookie banner. So as it stands at the moment, uh, when I refresh, I'm going to get in a bloody error because I didn't do this. So I'll just put if one refresh. So there we go. Here's a lovely uh, website paragraph. So um, I actually have the cookie set from uh, from a previous run of this tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that cookie and pre pretend that sort of didn't happen. Uh, so when we refresh now, we get this drop down nothing's happening. Uh, so as I said in the last part, I'm using Chrome DevTools uh, and I've just popped over to the resources tab and I've got the cookies open in in the sort of local host bucket here. Um, and um, we can sort of keep an eye on, on the cookies here. So we're going to be setting a cookie which you've just seen me delete um, and we're going to do that using PHP. So if is set dollar underscore get. So we you're sort of utilizing the get um, global array, except cookies. So this here represents what we have seen in the browser here. So if this has been set, then we want to go ahead and actually do something. Now, what do we want to do? Well, we want to use the PHP set cookie function to set a cookie. So we've got a few parameters. The first is the name. So that will be accept cookies, which we have checked for down here the value which literally can be anything because all we're doing is checking if it's set so i'm just going to set it to true um, and then we're also going to give this a time uh, or a, not a time an expiration date so in this case it will be time which is the current timestamp from php um, add an amount of seconds so i'm going to choose a year so that's i think 31 million five hundred and fifty six thousand nine two five yeah whatever so um i obviously googled this but uh that's roughly the amount of seconds in a year not getting technical with like leap years and stuff but um then we're going to redirect the user because we want to redirect them um and them not to see the cookie banner anymore now you might want to add a referrer or something here but i'm literally just going to just going to refresh the page essentially uh, or go back to the root directory rather so hit enter we use cookies on this website when we click this ok continue button what's going to happen well we're going to refresh the page essentially um, we're just depending on this query string the query string is going to be picked up here we're going to set this cookie and then refresh or go back to the root directory here uh, and then when this line is hit here uh, the cookie is going to be set, so this block isn't going to be run. Subsequently, because we have the cookie banner dot length check, the cookie banner won't exist, so this code here won't be executed, which is good. We don't want to run that if we don't need it. So let's go ahead and t test this out. And I'm going to keep an eye on this panel down here, and uh, and so should you. So when I click OK Continue, wow, we've refreshed. We've set a cookie here, accept cookies, value true. And when we refresh, we no longer get this drop down. Uh, if we view the page source, we don't have it in the markup anymore. And the JavaScript isn't running, which is good because there's no element to actually slide down. 
So that's it. If we go ahead and delete this value in here and refresh, it appears when we click OK Continue. Again, we've already seen this functionality. So that's it from start to finish, how to create a drop down cookie banner. Um, we've styled it up, we've created the markup, we've done some JavaScript, and uh, we've obviously done the back end stuff to deal with actually hiding this message once the user has clicked OK Continue.